Uh, hello everyone. Um, so I'm trying to um, uh, fix this battery. The problem is um, it starts up the car in the morning, uh, but then you have to drive it like 70 miles before it uh, starts again. If you drive it a few miles and then switch it off and uh, on again, it will not start. Uh, the alternator is fine. I tested and it's uh, producing 14 volts. Um, so I'm trying to do the <coughs> fix using this sodium bicarbonate. Um, so I emptied the battery fluid here. Um, and you can see it's all dark. Can you see how dark it is? The fluid and mucky. And then I filled the battery cells uh, with deionized water. And then in each cell I added just a teaspoon of this uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate. And then when you put it in, it will all fizz, fizz up and uh, make a froth. So the aim is to desulfate it. Desulfate uh, the, the uh, lead uh, plates in there. Uh, and as for this uh, battery acid, which is sulfuric acid, I'm going to clean it up and re recycle it. So I'm going to reuse this. And the way I do it, I put a funnel here, I put a tissue inside it, and then I'm pouring this into the funnel through here. And as you can see, it comes out very clean underneath. It's nice and clean. So I'm going to reuse this and then I'll charge the battery maybe for uh, overnight and then see if that fix it um, and then update you. So I wanted to show you the filtration of this uh, uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, see how dirty it is here. This is the filtration I'm using with the tissue inside this funnel and then see how clean it comes out the other end. So I think all that dirt affects the, uh, uh, the transmission and the conductivity of the electrolytes. I had to change this tissue inside here a few times because it just gets blocked with the amount of dirt. Uh, in this fluid. Uh, so let's hope this will all work. So I've got one bottle of this um, uh, sulfuric acid filtered all clean and uh, I'm doing this one next and still I've got this amount left to do. And then I'll put it all back inside the battery and then charge it overnight and hopefully that will fix the problem. Uh, I'll update you. I cleaned the battery properly and flushed it a few times yeah, with the deionized water. I finished all that 5 liter to clear all the sodium bicarbonate from it. And uh, looking inside the cells, it looks pretty clean now. I don't know if you can see that. Looks nice and clean. The acid inside it was just very mucky, and now look at this, it's nice and clean. It's very clear. It's very clear. Uh, yeah, so nice and clear. So I'm going to fill the fill each of these eyes again and uh, put it on charge uh, maybe for 12 or 24 hours and hopefully that will fix the problem. Uh, so I filled the battery back uh, with the with the asset it's normal acid above the above the level of the plates. 
and um, amazingly just after I filled it up I wanted to measure it with the voltmeter and uh, I'll show you what, what it measures it's difficult holding the camera and I'm doing it with both so look at that <laughs> amazing isn't it that is just after putting the fluid back, the um, acid, inside the battery. And it's measuring that, uh, which is amazing. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to charge it and um, uh, maybe overnight until tomorrow morning and then put it back on the car. Uh, hopefully this will be fixed uh, probably prom uh, completely that's what I'm hoping for uh, so the battery has been on charge for 13 hours now and when I first put it on charge it was in this level here 2 amperes and now it's below 1 ampere this is like a slow charger um, and uh, I looked at all the um, <coughs> all the chambers they are all bubbling uh, which is charging so let's test it and see how many volts it is now uh, I'll switch off the charger and then we'll test it So the charger is off. I'm just using the um, clamps to hold the, uh, the lead for the um, multimeter. And uh, when I first connected it, it was like 13.7, uh, but it's gradually dropped down. So now it measures 13.3 volts. Um, it is still going down. So let's see when it at what level it will stabilize uh, I'll give it a few minutes and then uh, um, test it again uh, so I left it for uh, uh, over half an hour now and uh, seems it has stabilized at this 13.1 so I think uh, that's a good uh, achievement uh, next thing will be to put it back onto the car and then start the car and see uh, uh, if that works so the battery is back on the car a uh, moment of truth, let's start it. And yes, start it straight away. Uh, I think I'm very happy with this. I think uh, that was a good uh, fix um, and I think that's the best way to fix these batteries I've seen people on YouTube um, they drain the battery and put Epsom salt and things like that but I don't think that works you have to just um, filter its own acid you've seen how mucky and dirty it was uh, and then just wash the inside of the battery with the sodium bicarbonate and deionized water 
and um, that will sort the problem out. Uh, give it a few washes. I've washed inside the battery for like three or four times with the sodium bicarbonate. Um, and then uh, I drained all the sodium bicarbonate by uh, washing it again just with, with the deionized water. Um, and then I dried the battery, uh, like put it upside down, dried, let, let it stay for like an hour or so, so that all the water drains out, and then filled it back with its own filtered acid, sulfuric acid. And um, I think this has fixed the problem. Uh, so if you like the video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.